So I will be sharing with you three sewing makes today. So the first one that I want to talk about is a hack pattern from Simplicity. It is Simplicity 8657. I made the top, which is view three. And I made this out of a cotton fabric that I found at Joann Fabrics. It is 100% cotton and I made it out of a lavender color. They had other colors and I chose to work with the lavender color. Now, one of the things that the pattern calls for is single fold bias tape, and that goes around the neckline. There is a V neckline in the front and also a V neckline in the back. This pattern only has three pieces. One of the pieces is for a contrast band to go around the bottom of the sleeve edge. So of course you can choose to leave that off if you don't want to do that. Now, I decided to go ahead and put the contrast band sleeve around the band around the sleeve and I didn't use it in a different color I just stayed with the same lavender fabric and I like the way it came out now this top was really I thought really cute I liked it however it is way too big on me it was falling off my shoulders and the V was just a little too deep for my taste However, I didn't want to get rid of the top because I really liked this. So what I did was I made some ties to go in the back and I just attached them in the back so that I could pull the top together and tie it just to kind of help keep the top on my shoulders. And it works, but I would like to make this again in a smaller size and maybe without the ties because the ties kind of pull in in the back and it doesn't look like I really want it to look, but it is something that was able to work so I can wear it and you'll get to see what it, what it looks like. Okay, so now the next make that I like to share is a vintage pattern. It is Simplicity 9903. I made view one and I made this in a crepe knit. It's a mauve kind of color. This pattern was very, very easy. All the pieces were cut on the fold, which I really do like. The, well, there are two features. There are splits on the side of the dress and then the sleeves are cupped so you cuff the sleeves and then you sew them down. I like that feature because I thought it just kind of created a different look on the sleeve instead of just a straight sleeve hanging down. So I like that. Now what I did to change this dress a little bit is I lowered the side slits because they came up a little high so I just closed those a little bit and with this this dress was actually too short. So I didn't shorten the dress. I made it the way it was in the pattern and it was actually a really, really short dress. So if I wear this or when I wear it, I will definitely have to put something under it, whether it's pants or shorts or something of the sort. But I do like the garment. I'm happy with the way it came out. I don't see myself making this again, but I have it now and I like it and I will share that with you. make that I want to share is Simplicity 1165. It is a pair of shorts and I made you D. Now this is a pattern that I made before. These shorts, when I made them the first time, I shared them in a video, a previous video. And the issue that I had was the trim around the leg open, opening had too much elastic in it. So I wanted to give these shorts another try. So this time I did a couple things different. This time I also used scraps, which I made the first pair out of scraps. This time I did scraps again and I added pockets to the back of the shorts. And then I also used a trim that did not have any elastic in it. It's actually 100% polyester. So let me show you the shorts. Now because they are made out of scraps, they are very different. 
Okay, so <laughs> this is the front. There are pockets. The other thing that I did was I used one piece of elastic rather than two pieces. So the pattern wants you to take two pieces and thread it through, but I just used one piece this time. The first time I did use the two pieces. Now the pockets have a lining which has a little rose colored floral print on it. Now the back is very different from the front. So it might surprise you, but the back fabric is this and it has flowers in it too. So I kind of thought that the lining and the back fabric would kind of go together, but they, they don't really. But I will still wear these, even if it's just around the house, I really ended up liking them even with the contrasting fabric and then the trim oh i thought the trim was so so cute it's like little round circles but i like it i really like it and then like i said i put the pockets in the back this time i didn't put pockets the first time but yes these are the shorts and i'm just happy that i decided to go ahead and make them again and i actually was able to get the trim right this time <laughs> so yes that's that Okay, so before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So something that I didn't know, maybe you knew already, or maybe you know, is that at Jimmy John Restaurants, the sandwich shop, they sell their day-old bread for less than a dollar a loaf. I didn't know that. And that's at most or many of the Jimmy John's. I'm not sure if all of them do that, but it's something you can definitely inquire about if you're interested. All right, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.